we're going to write the correct formula from the names. And so if we have a metal in the name, we're going to need to look at the periodic table to figure out the charges. And from the charges, we'll come up with the formula because the charges have to cancel to zero. If we see Greek prefixes, then all we have to do is know how many atoms, uh, for example, of fluoride we would need for that prefix. So if we look at calcium hydroxide, we find calcium on the periodic table. So calcium is a plus 2. Hydroxide is OH with a minus 1. So first we'll write the charges. Calcium is always a plus 2. Hydroxide is OH minus 1. So that does not cancel to 0. So we need two hydroxides for every one calcium. If we write calcium hydroxide without the parentheses, then that's incorrect because we need two of this group called hydroxide. Okay? So now the charge cancels to zero. So this would be the formula for calcium hydroxide. If we see a Roman number in a name, we know the charge of the metal. Copper 1 is going to be copper plus 1. This is sulfide, so that means it's a symbol on the periodic table. So we find sulfur, and we put a negative 2 charge above sulfur. So sulfur is a minus 2. So this formula, we're going to require 2 copper plus 1s for every sulfide. So we get Cu2S. Now, that doesn't look like copper 1 sulfide because of the 2, but the Roman number is the charge. It's not how many atoms there are. Okay. Sulfur hexafluoride, that's a Greek prefix. So if there's only one of the first atom, we don't say mono, but so that sulfur is S. Hexa means 6. And fluoride is from the fluorine atom, so S, F, six. This would be a molecule and everything would have eight electrons around it. Okay, so we just, from the formula, from, we, uh, from the Greek prefix, we put the correct formula. Okay. Silver sulfate. Silver, I'm going to write down AG. Find it on the periodic table to write its charge. So silver has a plus one. So I write plus one. Sulfate, that's one of our polyatomic ions. So SO4 with a minus two charge. It's a charge of negative two. So this ratio is just like the ratio above. We have a plus one metal and a minus two nonmetal. So we're going to need two silver atoms for every sulfate. Okay, so silver sulfate would look like that. Iron 3 nitrate, again, a transition metal with the charge written as a Roman number, so that means iron plus 3. Nitrate is NO3 minus 1. So the entire nitrate ion has a charge of minus 1. So we need three nitrates for every iron. So we would write iron, and then in the parentheses is where we write the NO3, and then we need three of them. Okay. And so that would be iron three nitrate, dichlorine pentoxide, di means two. So chlorine, there are two of them. This is not a charge. So we use Greek prefixes because non-metal, non-metal, we don't consider charges. Pent means five. Oxide is O. Okay. So going from formula to name or name to formula, the concept is the same. We just have to make sure if we have a metal with a non-metal, 
that we write the charges so that we see that the formula comes from the charges canceling to zero.